if you're looking to join a guild and have no idea where to start, did you know it's way easier than you think? In this video, you'll learn all the steps you need to take to find a raiding guild in World of Warcraft. I know you're probably stressed at the idea of applying to guilds. You might be putting a lot of pressure on yourself by thinking, but what if I don't get in? These are my tips to get you over that. First of all, you need to know what kind of guild you're looking for. Is it raiding for fun? Or is it pushing to improve your own gameplay or your rankings? If it's the first one, then just look for an active guild with players online who are doing things. Maybe with an active Discord, they might play other games together and things like that. Usually you can find these sort of guilds on the uh, public forums actually for Blizzard and also in trade chat. There's probably a load of them on your server so you won't need to transfer servers unless it's for the absolute right one. But if it's the latter, then boy oh boy I got the video for you. So if you're looking to get raiding in WoW, you need to find a guild with a similar skill level to you, but also one that has the same goals in mind. It's really, really important that your personal goals align with the guild's goals as a whole to save any friction down the line. So my first tip would be to find a guild with a similar skill level to yourself, maybe a little bit higher than you're currently at, so that you are encouraged to push yourself to keep up. If you aren't feeling the heat under you, typically players will get complacent and they won't want to push themselves to improve. At the same time, if you aim too high, you're going to have a hard time getting accepted because guilds will want to see some sort of evidence that you can perform. Think of your rating experience kind of like a CV. If you have none of it, then you're probably not going to get accepted for a senior position at Google. So start lower down and you can always move up later on. It is way easier than you think. Now, before you go looking for guilds to apply to or writing any applications, you need to make sure that you've done your part and you need to make sure that your character is in tip top condition. Start with all the basics. Have you done everything you can to reach the ceiling of opportunity that you currently have? So if you're applying to mythic guilds, do you have the best gear from heroic rating and maybe mythic plus that you can get your hands on? You don't want to fall at the first hurdle because if you miss something and these guilds spot it, then you're going to drastically reduce the chance of getting accepted. It could be tiny things as well, like one really easy item to get your hands on, which you just didn't bother to go out of your way and do. Or maybe you just didn't enchant your gear or gem it properly. All of these little things, if, if people see these in your applications, then they're just going to straight decline you without really giving you a second thought. Anything that you miss that's an easy fix, they will just see that and they will assume that you just aren't willing to put the required effort into your character and therefore why would you put the required effort into the guild. So once you've done your part to get your character fully in shape, you're going to want to start thinking about getting some logs. Now I know logs can be kind of a scary word for some people, but to be honest you need it as evidence that you can actually play the game. How else is this guild going to know that you're a competent player if you have no proof? So you're going to want to jump into some pug raids or make your own and you are also going to want to download warcraft logs uploader i'll leave the link for that one down in the description below it should have a little step-by-step -step guide on how to install it so once you've got that up and running and installed you're going to want to join some pugs or as i said host your own these don't have to be absolutely incredible logs you don't have to go full past cheese mode but you do want them to accomplish something and that is to get across the point that you know what to do you know what buttons to press on your class if you're applying as a dps you know how to put out damage if you're applying as a tank maybe they're going to look at your positioning and things like that maybe even your mitigation this is essentially a snapshot of what it would be like for this guild to have you in their team treat it as close to a progress kill as possible as long as you can answer the questions that they're going to throw at you about those logs then you should be good to go so the next part is actually applying to guilds now where do you find guilds to apply to well there are a couple ways firstly word of mouth you might even see some in trade chat personally the trade chat ones i wouldn't go near but word of mouth, if you have friends who raid, maybe they can help you get your foot in the door. Secondly, class discords. A lot of guilds who are looking for a particular class, some who are just recruiting in general, will post an advert fairly regularly in the class discords. I'll leave a link to all of those down below so that you can just join any of the class discords. Usually there'll be a recruitment channel or guild recruitment channel or something like that. And you'll just see loads and loads of adverts and you can actually just click the person's name and message them directly. So those are two kind of okay ways. My personal favorite way is actually to go to a website called Wow Progress. And this is quite an old school website. 
I almost always use this one when I'm looking for guilds. I think a lot of people who've been in the game a long time also do this. You can also use Raider.io, but to be honest, I think people look at that less and I keep those less updated. So Wild Progress would be my recommendation. Now it has all these filters at the top. You've got this home page and you've got these filters where you can choose your faction, how many raids per week you want to raid, which language you are if you're looking for a particular language or just an English one, or you don't care about the language. As an English speaker myself, if I don't want to see the Swedish, Danish, Russian girls and stuff like that on EU for me, then I will just choose English. And then you can actually choose from the recruitment box if they're looking for your particular class as well. Now, I would usually run two separate searches, one with nothing ticked in the recruitment box and one with my class ticked in the recruitment box. So once you put in all of those criteria, you can press go and you should be presented with a list of guilds that you could potentially join. Now, these will be scattered across all the different servers. If you're not willing to transfer servers for a guild, then you're going to want to find your server on this list. For example, mine is Twisting Nether and you should be presented with a list of guilds just on your server that you can go through. So once you have this list, you're going to want to click on the ones of a progress level that you're happy at. Again, don't aim too high. If you've never stepped in Mythic, you're not going to apply to a guild that's 11 out of 11 Mythic, right? Start small and move up from there. It's way easier and we'll go over it later in the video. So from here on out, you're just gonna click on the names of the guilds. What I do personally is I just use the middle mouse button on my mouse and it opens it in a new tab and just open all the ones that I might be interested in. So make sure that you're looking at the EU ones if you're in EU or the US ones if you're in US. And from then on out, honestly, what I do is I just scroll down, check that the raid days suit you. And on Wow Progress, they have a little option where they can type some stuff and they might also give a little bit of background on the guild. You know, sometimes it's quite sarcastic. Sometimes it's very serious. Just take a look at this. It's a good way to kind of get the vibe of the guild before you even apply. So look through quite a lot of these. I'd say look for at least 10 guilds or so, and then make a short list of ones that you like, maybe three or four, before you start actually doing your applications. Again, make sure your goals are in line with the guild's goals. Now for the application itself, most of them are pretty similar, to be honest. They're gonna ask you a couple basic questions about yourself, you know, where you're from, what you do, this is more just of a courtesy, really. Most guilds will only really care about your logs, your progress, your maybe your guild history, potentially your Mythic Plus score. Honestly, your Mythic Plus score, if you have a good Mythic Plus score, can really help with getting into a guild. Shows that you're committed to the game, you're willing to put time in. Maybe you can play your class in raids too. Some guilds will ask you to link a picture of your UI. So make sure you have a very clean UI, or at least that they can see that you have you know, a boss mod installed, deadly boss mods, big wigs, and you have clear information maybe about your rotation. That's that's the main thing that they can see that in one way or another, while your UI is very personal to you, they can see that you are at least being presented with the required information to do a raid. Now, don't give these one word answers. Put a little bit of time into it because it's going to be very easy to see when you're reading these applications. You can see the people that just kind of half ass it. Some guilds will ask you for your guild history again they're just looking to see how often you change guild it doesn't matter honestly how often you change guild some people think that guild hopping is a bad thing just straight up that's not necessarily true as long as you have a good reason for leaving a guild and it doesn't even matter if you have this long chain of guilds but at the same time less is more just mention the guilds especially any notable ones you've been but don't say stuff like i got 10 out of 10 back in original classic in Nax, and I did every raid in TBC and then I cleared all of Wrath on 25 man. Like don't go that far back, you know, the past two to three raid tiers is enough, more than enough to be honest. If you have previous cutting edges, definitely mention those and don't lie about cutting edges, okay? The officers in this guild that you're applying to will find out. Do not lie about your experience. Do not lie about your achievements. It's gonna look far worse than if you just didn't have them at all, if you got found out lying. Again, take your time with the application, make sure it's really, really good, make sure you're very happy with it. As long as you can stand out from that crowd, you're gonna vastly increase your chance of getting accepted. So let's move on to some tips about the actual trial itself. Let's say that you got accepted into a guild, you're super pumped, you're ready to raid. So here's some tips for trialing that will hopefully increase your chance of becoming a raider eventually. So my biggest one here is probably going to be preparation particularly for your first raid 
first of all ask uh, the officers once you get in to give you some links maybe to some kill videos they have or maybe some streams if they know anyone in the guild that streams look through the previous raids look through the vods look through the kill videos especially people in your role that you're playing if you're playing melee dps range dps healer etc not only do you need to be familiar with the fight itself and all the mechanics and stuff like that but also maybe that particular guild runs a certain strategy if you can familiarize yourself with their particular strategy then it's going to make it way easier for you to just slot right into this new spot that you're being given in your first raid you can see when they move the boss where they move the boss so you can be a bit more prepared plan your movement and that is going to make you look better when it comes to it honestly you don't want to be drawing any eyeballs to you it feels weird to say but the more that people actually don't notice that you're there is usually the better because it means that you haven't been dying and people have been like ugh, rolling their eyes at you are oh, this new guy you just want to slot right in and basically just become a new cog in this machine that's already running you don't want to be the spanner in the works another thing that watching these kill videos and vods is going to help you with is actually getting used to the raid leader's voice maybe some of the raiders who are more in charge of doing certain call outs in the fights you'll know which voices to listen out for when it's your turn to raid another good way to do this would be to just get involved in the guild as soon as you can you know first day you straight up get invited to the guild straight away just join the discord if there's people in there make some friends get your name out there you know start talking to people don't be afraid these people are here to welcome you into their team and hopefully you're going to kill some mythic bosses together and bonus points if you manage to kind of make friends with the GM or the raid leader beforehand as well. Now remember as well, during the trial process, it does actually go both ways. It's not only about the guild testing if you're a good fit for them, but also if that guild is a good fit for you. You have no obligation to stay in a guild if you aren't vibing with it, if you're not happy with it. Just please don't be that guy who leaves in the middle of the night without saying anything. Communication is key. And things like that could bite you in the ass later down the line. You never know who knows who. In 99.9% .9 of cases, the officer team will completely understand and it will be absolutely fine. And if they don't, well, that guild is probably sus anyway. The first raid is going to be really, really, really important. Don't try and just go for big damage. You know, it's not a dick measuring contest. You can do that later. It is far better to stay off the floor. Just do not die. As long as your damage isn't completely dreadful or you're not dead, you're going to be fine at least to the point where they're going to give you another chance, right? So just get a feel for the guild, get a feel for the callouts. Remember that everyone's going to have a way easier time in that particular raid than you are. They have probably killed the bosses with that exact strategy loads of times and you've potentially never even touched that boss, never even pulled that boss. Don't try and beat people and assert dominance. Just do what's required of you. Stay off the floor. Now, I just wanted to put an extra section in here about player mindset, self-reflection and improvement. And I'll probably make a separate video altogether about potentially moving on or moving up in terms of guild hopping and things like that. But in general, focus on yourself. How did you play? Evaluate your own progress as a player. Evaluate your performance. Look through your logs. Log everything, by the way. It is an amazing way to get data. I'm going to be coming out with some videos in the future about how to analyze logs as well. If you feel like you're behind the pack, maybe it's time to do a little bit extra research. There's never a downside to having more knowledge of a fight, even if it's understanding the fight from a different perspective. For example, as a melee DPS, it's useful to know what the tanks will be doing so that you can prepare for any sudden boss movements. Likewise, for ranged DPS, it's useful to know what your healers will be doing at certain points of the fight. So you'll know if you're in range or if you can perhaps finish a cast and maybe be greedy. Don't do it in your first raid though. Maybe it's a point in the fight where there's not too much healing to be done. All of these things will just make you a better raider in general. Uh, watch some streams. Honestly, you can learn a lot from streams just by finding a good player at the class that you play and watching their bars, their casts, their positioning. Positioning is crazy important. And unless you are completely blowing everybody out of the water, then there's still work to be done. So congratulations, you made it into a guild. What next? You want to be always improving as a player whether that be to find a new other guilds in the future or just improve that guild that you're in. If you like that guild, improve that guild as a whole. Now, don't get complacent. You want to be constantly improving as a player, whether that be just for yourself. Maybe you want to join another guild in the future. Maybe you have a plan or a strategy 
to move your way up the ranks. Maybe one day you want to join Limit or Echo or any of those top, top guilds. You gotta start somewhere, right? And yeah, if you're thinking about moving on potentially, moving up potentially, then I will have a video about when and how to correctly leave a guild coming in the near future. If you gained value here, give the video a like. If you want more, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, ask them down below or swing by the live stream at twitch.tv forward just for us. Up on the screen is my personal recommendation for you to watch next and also YouTube's recommendation for you. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time. So